10 month old uh, pediatric respiratory distress with vomiting the most common cause of pediatric respiratory distress and vomiting is the peanut always look for um, choking now child with murmur and fever always remember this is all the question check after fever subsided check after fever subsided again covid uh, positive female with the uh, lungs without oxygen given what is next again with or without oxygen remember the main one is corticosteroid now 15 year old uh, f a couple for abortion came for abortion of course, before deciding if you are, uh, if you want to do the abortion, you have to check competency for the decision. But we need the full scenario here. Girlfriend came to collect report of her boyfriend. You can what to do? Of course, you are not allowed to give the report to. Uh, another person, just the patient himself. If you, regarding reports, if you want to give reports to another family member or another person, you have to uh, uh, take a patient written consent. It is a written consent to give the reports. For H. pylori treatment, it is antacid with the antibiotic. Women came to talk about, uh, to take, this is very new question and um, important. Here we have a woman come to, uh, come to you, to your clinic. She is asking about uh, taking medication for her husband. Her husband has diabetic, diabetes type 1 and cannot come today for work. Look, in other scenarios, in the same question, they said that he is a good uh, follow-up patient, but today he cannot came, he cannot came, he couldn't came to you because of his work. So what to do? His, his wife came to you asking about his medication. What to you? Do not stop the medication. Do not, do not uh, refer to pharmacy. Best answer is give a short course treatment and ask for follow-up in uh, next week. So here, give one week treatment and then ask the patient to come back to you. Pregnant lady, 20 weeks pulmonary embolism, what to do, how to detect. Look, to detect pulmonary embolism, CTPA is good, but CTPA, CTNGO is contraindicated in a pregnant lady, and here we have a pregnant lady, and in allergic people who are allergic to dye, and in renal impairment people, all these three are uh, contraindicated for CTPA. So in pregnant lady, what to do? Do VQ scan. Here also uh, we have uh, look another question, but uh, the the uh, answer is not correct, so I put it here. Here we have an inpatient who is 65 years old with acute onset chest pain, acute chest pain and dyspnea after hemo uh, hemicolectomy due to colon cancer. So we have acute and this is very important this is occur in pulmonary embolism acute onset chest pain after operation so this is mostly this is mostly pulmonary embolism what to do next what to do as a next step ctpa not ecg it is ctpa think medically not think just rubbish Think medically, medically, if you have operation and the patient got acute chest pain and dyspnea post-operative, think about pulmonary embolism, not about ischemic heart disease. Think about pulmonary embolism. It is most like cause 
of acute chest pain post-operatively. So what to do next? Do CTPA, not just ECG. Of course, we will send for ECG, we will send for chest X-ray, we will send for the dimer, but they want you to know the information. The main information, if you have a patient post-operatively got acute onset chest pain with dyspnea, think about pulmonary embolism. So do CTPA is the most appropriate next step in the management of this patient. Chronic pancreatitis, diagnostic test, diagnostic test, it is, remember it is CT scan. Look, for pancreas problem and for kidney problems, the diagnostic test, the investigation of choice is CT scan. Ovarian cyst, which is for CM, but the patient, she, did, the, uh, she didn't have follow-up. Now she presents with nausea and acute abdominal pain or abdominal pain. Mostly, mostly it is rupture cyst, but we need the full history and full scenario. Farmer with hand cellulitis and fever, initial treatment. Look, for cellulitis, it is very important to know if there is systemic inflammatory symptoms. If there is systemic inflammatory symptoms, we have to admit the patient and give IV antibiotic. If there is no symptoms of systemic inflammatory reaction, this uh, means we can give a treatment by oral antibiotic. So, in this equation, we have cellulitis and fever. I don't know what the degree of fever here. Would, here. High or, or uh, just mild fever, if mild, initial antibiotic. If uh, high fever, we can admit the patient. So, Feature for uh, SERS or uh, systemic inflammatory symptoms, signs, high fever, tachypnea, tachycardia. Look, this is another question also. Here we have a patient with cellulitis of the hand. The uh, blood pressure is normal. The temperature is just mild elevation. So what to do next here? What to do next? This is full scenario. Just the tricks about a patient has normal breathing, a pulse are normal, blood pressure normal, temperature mild elevation. So you can discharge the patient with oral antibiotic, oral antibiotic. For diabetes, it is the same. If the diabetic patient has presented with only with only uh, signs of uh, infection, no systemic inflammatory symptoms, just give oral antibiotic.